reasons why I think we got that. What do you think we got that? We do. We put oil. We say you're sealed and marked as Christ's own forever. Uh, I think there's about three good reasons. One, does anybody know who started their ministry by being baptized by John the Baptist? Very good. Yes. Jesus. And you know what happened when Jesus was baptized? The skies opened up and the voice of God came down. And you know what? You know what God said? This is my child, my beloved. And every time we baptize, we, we say the same thing. This is God's child, God's beloved, and we celebrate that. Uh, that God is a parent to all of us. You know what else we do? We say welcome. Welcome into the body of Christ. You want to know a third thing we do? We make promises. Because do you think Eleanor's got it all figured out already? Yeah. No. She's a little young to have it all figured out. Do you think I have it all figured out? Yeah. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But we promise that we are going to help her grow up, grow up to know Christ, and to grow up and to, to live the life that we all promise to make. You know those three good reasons to baptize? You ready to get this baptism going? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Are we ready to get this baptism going? Yeah. Yes. The candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. I present Eleanor Grace Taylor to receive the sacrament of baptism. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? I will, with God's help. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will, I will with God's help. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept Him as your Savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in His grace and love? I do. Do you promise to follow and obey Him as your Lord? This one I need everybody, including you all, and the answer is we will. Will you who witnessed this vow do all in your power to support this person in her life in Christ? We will. We will. Now let us join with she who is committing herself to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Wonderful. Absolutely. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father. Christ, your son. 
Son may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory who lives and reigns now and forever. Be with you. And also here. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your Son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the gift of water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and forever. and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Now let us welcome the newly baptized. 